The Central American Cricket Tournament held its final in Bermudan Landing on Sunday evening, with Mexico playing the UK's MCC team. It was a bit of a disappointment for Belize, who had hoped home court advantage would push our guys to the final. But when it came down to it, the UK-Mexico game got off to a slow start, with the UK coming out in front from the beginning. So far, so good, I think. Um, we won the toss and, and chose the bat first. Um, and we didn't know who we were playing until, until quite near to the start of our game. Um, so we're playing against Mexico. Um, and we've batted really well. I think we're on about 160 runs now. We've only lost four wickets, which is uh, quite good going so far. So a couple of our batters batted really well. One of them just got out, unfortunately, after, after getting his 50. But we're well set. I think we've got four or five overs left, and we'll be looking at a score hopefully somewhere near 200. Yeah, very, very competitive. I mean, they're, uh, they're a really good side. The ability of them uh, has, has really surprised us all. Um, the, the quality of the players is fantastic. The first two games, like I said, we got absolutely hammered. So it was off the plane and we thought, right, we're in for a really tough time. But the way they hit the cricket ball, I mean, I got hit for some ginormous sixes over the basketball court and it was really, really impressive. And they've got some great bowlers. And I think athletically as well, the way they move in the field is a really important part of the game has been fantastic. So look, their skill levels are really high. I think they're disappointed not to, to, to meet the final, but looks like cricket's very much up and coming. And, you know, I wouldn't be surprised to sort of see them go on to bigger and better things in the future. And indeed, when we spoke to Belize player Garrett Banner, he said that his superior skills as a bowler hadn't quite shone on Sunday. We put up a really good fat, but we know we can do much better. And our teammates just really didn't feel it enough. So we lose the game. It's going up. Every, that all you do playing cricket. I love that I'm bowling, feeling, and good at batting too, but didn't do much good. And by the time Sunday's final was over, MCC had triumphed over Mexico. Shortly after, we spoke to the captain and the coach. I thought we were excellent. Um, we had our plans set, uh, and the only instruction was for the boys to go and execute our plans and, and go and enjoy ourselves, and that's exactly what we did. Um, I thought the seamers up top were, were brilliant. They, um, they took wickets when we needed to and didn't really give, give Mexico a chance. But we hear that in the second half of the game, Mexico didn't really put up a fight. What's your perspective? Um, I think they tried. I think they tried. I think our bowlers are excellent. I think they're brilliant. Um, like I said, we had plans in place and, and we were just able to, get, to go out and execute them. And we, we loved playing out there. We loved the conditions. We adapted really, really well. Um, so, yeah, overall, I'm just really happy with, with our guys and what we did. Um, and for them, I think they did, I think they did try and they, they maybe didn't have as good plans as we had. I think from on, a, on a, our team perspective, we're delighted to have won the tournament. Um, so we kind of come here as favourites with the knowledge and the experience, and it's great to be able to convert that into performances on the field, particularly after Belize did so well in the initial games. And just like Belizeans, Mexicans were a bit disappointed to have lost, but still eager to take up the challenge next year. We've been always been a part of this, and we love to uh, be here in Belize and play. Um, thanks to CC for uh, it's, it was a great tournament for us. We learned a lot. And I think, we, like you said, we need to up, up our game. Um, so thanks for this uh, momentum. As for the MCC, they go home with a trophy and with some new Belizean connections forged. The cricket's been fantastic. It's been really hard. Hot weather, it's very humid here, um, but we've played really well. We got beaten in our first two warm-up games. So we had to learn quickly, but we've won every game in the tournament so far. Uh, fingers crossed that that continues today. We've done lots of coaching in schools, um, coaching the national team and the national women's team, which has been really, really great for us um, to sort of see how 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 great the cricket is in Belize and how much it's growing. Um, and I've managed to enjoy sort of some of the some of the sights as well. So it's been a perfect trip so far, I'd say. But. Is this a cricket resurgence for Belize? Those in the River Valley say no. The Londing villagers and the other River Valley residents, cricket is a regular weekend pastime and a passion. For many Belizeans, cricket is a lost art. But talk to me about it being alive, well, thriving here in this village. Well, we play cricket in the Belize run, not. Huh? And so all the Belize, like the red cabbage, Rancho de Res, Willows Bank, um, St. Paul's Bank, um, Sand Hill. All these, cricket, all these religions play cricket, and for years from I was a boy, we were playing cricket, and so it has never died in the Belize rural north, especially in the River Valley area. Oh! 
Cherise Halswell, 7 News.